Are you still stuck back in the 1920s? Back in the George Washington days when it comes to cleaning up the leaves and stuff out of your yard? Are you stuck using just a regular rake like a peasant? Well, you're in luck because today we are gonna test some uh, modern marvels of engineering from Amazon. We're gonna see if, if we can use these modern marvels to make cleaning up your yard a little bit easier. The first item that we're gonna be testing, the world's smallest leaf blower. Take a look at that. We're gonna see what kind of work we can do with it. In order to give this thing a fair test, we're just gonna use some something real light, just like some little, little pine straw. Let's see if we can get rid of this. <laughs> it doesn't even blow as hard as you can. Maybe let's try a singular leaf. And maybe just like a couple little strands of pine straw. Oh, one leaf. Okay, so we're good for one leaf. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I think we're good for about couple strands of pine straw, one leaf, anything more than that, you're probably gonna want something a little bit bigger. All right, next we have a Black & Decker leaf sucker device. Comes with a backpack. It is corded. And the idea here, obviously suck everything up. And then somehow or another, this motor, I don't know how this works, but somehow this motor is supposed to like mulch up the stuff and then shove it into the backpack. I have had very poor experiences with Black & Decker. So, if this thing works, I'll be impressed. We also have kind of a healthy mix here. We got pine straw, we got some leaves, we got some pine cones. Uh, so, if it gets all this up, that'll be impressive. There's two different settings. Okay, I didn't know this. It's, it looks like there is a, just like a regular on, and then there's like a super sucker setting, I guess. So I guess we'll go on normal, and then we'll try the other one. It chewed up a pine cone. I was wondering if it was gonna do that. That was like a whole pine cone that was in there. Okay. I mean, that's kind of crazy. That sucked all that up no problem. That's like the opposite of <clears throat> every Black & Decker experience I've ever had. Okay, let's look at what's in the bag. We're gonna put this one on pause, test our next one, and then we'll be able to test this one to the max capacity. Oh, the bag's already kind of full. That's kind of a downside. One little tiny area. Let's see if it shredded it the way it's supposed to. <laughs> no, it did not. I don't think it shredded it at all. These just look like whole pine needles that were sucked up. All right, so like I said, let's put this on pause. I have something else that it will clean up leaves. It's supposed to mulch leaves. So let's do the other thing that cleans up leaves and we'll see if it does that. All right, now this one is a little bit of a weird one. I've never seen anything like this before, but this is like, I'll bring you in close so you can see, but it's got like brushes on the inside that you push and then it throws the leaves up into this like container. And then you're basically just supposed to push it like you would a lawnmower, but it's supposed to clean up, like the bristles scrape along the ground and clean up all of the leaves and stuff. So there's the brushes. You can see as I push, it 
They just throw the leaves up into the thing. And these brushes are just like some type of like weird plastic or something. And then you have a little, a little height adjustment. I guess in case you need it to be deeper to pick up more stuff or whatever. Very unique. So you can see how many leaves are here. I'm just gonna go over this little area. I'm gonna make it kind of like a square. We'll see how many we pick up. <laughs> Quite a bit. I think we actually need to lower this thing down a little bit. Let's go all the way down. Or was that all the way up? No. All right, we're all the way down. Okay, so after... Uh, After like one pass, we're basically full. One thing I just realized I don't like is that this thing is very, very flimsy. I'm sure there's much better brands of this like style. Cause I kind of like, I like the idea. And then if you want to dump it, I mean, that's easy, you just dump it. Okay. I feel like it doesn't get low enough to the ground though which is kind of annoying. I mean, it gets a lot, don't get me wrong. But I wish it got more. Because it still leaves a whole, a whole layer on the ground. I mean, it does a pretty good job. It collects a lot pretty fast. It just doesn't get that bottom layer. So that's leaves. Let's see uh, how it does with pine straw. All right, we got pine straw, pine cones, and some sticks. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay, not great. Oh, we did get a pine cone. Yeah, you're not really, you're not picking up much pine straw with this. Oh, if it's real thick, maybe. Okay, I mean, like you're definitely picking up, you're picking up some pine straw, some sticks, some of the pine cones, but this is, I mean, this amount of pine straw for the little area I went over, this is probably only maybe 20% of what's there. So you are gonna get some, uh, just not very much. So that's kind of a letdown. So this thing is probably mainly just geared towards leaves. I would say. But other than that, it does, it does a decent job at the leaves. I just, like I said, I don't like how it leaves like just that bottom layer still leaving the need for you to rake, which kind of defeats the purpose because if you're going to have to rake anyway, you might as well just rake up the whole thing. But other than that, I think the idea is good and I kind of, I like the idea, but I feel like it could be better. Now that we have this giant pile of leaves, <laughs> let's see if this thing will shred the leaves the way it's supposed to. And we are going to be running on the extra extra sucker mode, whatever that is. I can feel that this backpack is stuffed. Oh, never mind. It's not that stuffed. I guess it was just full of air. 
it felt like it was uh, like stuffed about to explode. Let's see what's in Santa's bag here. Oh, look at that. Okay, that is actually kind of incredible. I like that a lot. This whole, that whole entire pile was condensed down to just here. So that wasn't even close to being full. The leaves, well, there's a little bit of pine straw in there too, but the leaves are completely shredded. Except for the pine straw. It doesn't shred the pine straw. Okay, Black & Decker. That's, I think that's probably been my best Black & Decker experience so far. Thumbs up for that thing. Okay, now these next ones. I'm gonna show you <laughs> what I thought that, that they were used for, but then after I bought them and looked at them, I realized what they were actually used for. So this is what they're actually used for. It's these things. <laughs> what they're actually used for is to, once you get your leaves in a pile, you can use these to then pick up more leaves and, and put them in, say, like a trash can or something, or in a bag or whatever. That's what they're actually used for. And they actually work very well at that, okay? Here's what I thought they were actually used for. So the entire reason that I bought these things was I thought that these were supposed to be used as a replacement for like a rake. And I looked at it and I thought, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. So <laughs> in my mind, I thought, what are you gonna be out in your yard? Like some gorilla just like going around and like trying to like scrape up all your leaves together and kind of like go like this or whatever, which is actually not too bad. It actually does a pretty decent job, honestly. You could. That's actually not that bad. Although you're, if you did a whole yard like that, your back would kill you by the end of the day. But <laughs> I just thought that was funny whenever I had that realization that I was an idiot and I was <laughs> completely wrong about how you use these things. But when you use them for what they're intended, they were pretty good. All right, so our next product. This is a much, <laughs> a much more advanced version of what I just tested. Instead of uh, putting them on your hands like some type of Neanderthal, you have handles. And these, these, I'm assuming, are supposed to be used for the same type of purpose. You know, once you have a pile, use these to lift the pile somewhere else. Look how wide these things open. Look at that. That is nice. I, I love that. You can almost get that whole pile in one in one go. That, I love that. That is so cool. Okay, yeah. If you're looking for a device that you can pick up piles of leaves with, this is, this is the ticket right here. This is, that's way better than those things. This might be my favorite product of the whole review. All right, our last two items. Both of these are essentially supposed to do the exact same thing. They pick up uh, pine cones, walnuts, uh, the box said sweet gums, whatever that is. Uh, pretty much anything that's small and circular. So first one is this. This is like got some type of like bristles and the stuff like sticks inside. And then you got this and you go and it like shoves it out. And then we have this one, which is like a cage. And you're supposed to just roll it across the ground and it'll pick stuff up. So we're gonna be using, in place of like walnuts and whatever, we're gonna be using golf balls because that's, uh, that's what I have. And we have pine cones, we'll try some pine cones too. We'll give the pine cones a try first. So shove it. Look at that. It kinda, it kinda like shoots them off. Golf balls. Theoretically, if you were doing this with like walnuts or something, you'd have like a bucket and then you could just shove them off into the bucket and then go back and pick up more stuff. I like that. That's cool. Especially like how it shoots them off. Now this thing, we got a mixture of pine cones and golf balls. Let's see if we can do them all. 
Ah. Pine cones, you kinda gotta go back and forth. Golf balls, picks golf balls right up. Pine cones, you gotta hit them at the right angle. That's actually... Okay. Pine, okay, so pine cones it doesn't really like. But it will do it. If you kinda, kinda work with it. But then this one has the little basket. Just open it up. Dump it out. Well, that concludes all of our yard, <laughs> yard tools from Amazon. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm impressed that almost all of these worked exactly the way they're supposed to, and they did a really good job. Except for the little sweeper thing that has like the bristles that I'm not really uh, too fond of just because it leaves that bottom layer. Everything else seems to work exactly the way it's designed. I'll have links to all of this stuff in the description if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.